Our today's topic is synthetic resin matrix for removal of permanent hardness of water. Synthetic resin method which is used for removal of permanent hardness of water. This is used for removal of permanent hardness of water. Permanent hardness of water like we have done before is because of the chloride and sulfate salts of calcium and magnesium ions. That is calcium chloride, calcium sulfate, magnesium chloride, magnesium sulfate in a water, that water will be a heavy permanent hardness. Now how we can remove these ions, calcium, magnesium, chloride, sulfate from this water? This method is synthetic resin method. Now in this method, we are using two tanks. The first tank At the bottom we have gravel, we pack the small stones are packed that is the gravel particles are packed here. The gravel here, here in both the tanks we have this. After packing this gravel layer on the top of the gravel we have gravel layer this is also a gravel layer from here the waste water comes out waste after the process the waste left comes out from this now on the top of this gravel layer here we pack the H plus resin. What is H plus resin? A resin like R C O O H or we can take R S O 3 H. What is R here? R is a big hydrocarbon part, a big hydrocarbon chain. This hydrocarbon chain is either linked to acidic group that is carboxylic group or it is linked to sulfonic group SO3H is called sulfonic group so here if hydrocarbon chain is linked to acidic group carboxylic or sulfonic group that is known as H plus resin how this becomes H plus resin this part we call resin in general we are calling this part as resin with resin or what is left here is H plus. So this is your H plus resin. So this is packed on the top of this gravel layer here in this tank. And the other side in the second tank here we are packing up OH minus resin. OH minus resin is packed this side. Now what is OH minus resin? This is also a long chain hydrocarbon part linking with the basic group. This is substituted ammonium hydroxide. Ammonium hydroxide is NH4OH. So 1H from ammonium is replaced by the hydrocarbon chain. So if the hydrocarbon chain links to the basic group then that is known as OH minus resin. So this is a big hydrocarbon chain linking to a basic group. And if we take out this part, for this part together we can write resin. The word resin we can write for this and this resin is linking to the OH. So this becomes OH minus resin and this one is H plus resin. 
So this side, what is packed is a R linking to NH3OH. We can call this as resin OH and this is known as resin H plus also like I explained here why these are called H plus resin and why these are known as OH minus resin. Now the process from the top in this tank we will add hard water. So hard water goes into the first tank from the top and when this tank comes in the H plus resin, when it goes into the H plus resin, gets mixed up here this water, what will happen when it goes here? Then there will be a reaction between the H plus of resin and that of the cations of the hard water. So reaction will be like this. Now for this RCOH or RSO3H, we can write resin H plus. When it goes, hard water goes into this resin from hard water, the cations calcium and magnesium. And even other cations present in the water, they also get exchanged with this H plus of the Resin and because of this, when this calcium comes here, this becomes resin hold twice Ca and plus from this resin H plus ions they will come out. And similarly, when magnesium will get exchanged, this becomes resin hold twice Mg and from resin H plus will come out. So, here the Calcium and magnesium will be here. Now in place of this H, they will remain here and H plus from the resin will come into the water. So the water that is coming down here, after passing from this layer, the water that comes out, this water is sent to the next tank. This is sent to the next tank. But what will be here in this water? Only the anions will be left here in the water because all cations remain here except for H plus that from the resin has gone into the water. So this water will have now only the H plus cations. Anions will be there, all anions will be there, but cation only will be H plus in this water. So this water from this tank now is going into the next tank. So this Water that is going here will have only H plus cation, remember, because other cations they will remain here in this resin. So, H plus and other anions like Cl minus, sulfate, all anions, hydroxyl ion, all these will be there in this water. This water now goes into this tank. And when it passes through this resin layer, then what will happen now here? The reaction is now this resin on right hand side is written as resin OH minus. The anion like chloride ion in the hard water. This will get exchanged with OH minus and this becomes resin Cl minus and OH minus will come out from this. Similarly, if we have sulfate ions exchanging with this resin this will be resin whole twice sulfate and plus hydroxyl ions will come out from this so when the water is passing through this layer OH minus ion comes out from this in place of OH minus there will be all other anions present in this water chloride and sulfate they will remain here and OH minus will come in the water so after passing through this layer, when water will come down, this water which will come out will have only H plus ions and OH minus ions left in it because all the ions will remain here except for H plus and all anions will be left here except for OH minus. So when this water comes out, 
that water will have only H plus ions and OH minus ions. That is why this water that we are getting here is known as deionized water. All other ions are removed from the water. It is deionized water or demineralized water because other minerals also calcium, magnesium, sodium, all minerals they are removed in this matter. This is how the water can be changed to the soft water if permanent hardness is there in this water.